What's going on guys and gals? This is AutoTech. So I was uh, just hanging out in the hotel room there and I was like, I want to go get something decent. I was like, I don't want like regular fast food. I want like fancy fast food. <laughs> so the other night I had told you guys that I should go to that uh, burger place over on Alki Beach there, that Blue Moon Burger. So I googled it, made sure that they were still open because that's a little bit of a trek just to uh, discover they're closed. And they're open till uh, 8 p.m. So I was like, all right, well, it's only 6.30 right now. and wait, It's dark. Like, this is the west coast here. Uh, no, I guess like it's as, as you get south is kind of the whole thing because like even back home, I mean, it's still light at this time. Like it's cold as hell, but it's still light. Uh, so like here, like 6.30, it's like nighttime. Like what the hell? So we're making our way over. I'm going to uh, take the 405 all the way to the 90 and then I'll cut over to the 5 from there and then I'll probably do what I did the other night there and come home on the 520 just because, you know, they're not going to send me the bill anyway. So they're probably going to track me down though and send me the bills because if they watch these videos, uh, yeah, they'll be like, screw this guy. <laughs> and uh, earlier today, oh man, I should have filmed this every time I was going under one of these things. Uh, <laughs> with my left hand, I would do this, like kind of aimed at the camera, just so that if somebody's going through it, it's kind of like, ah, he got me. <laughs> the traffic heading north has not changed density since I turned on to the 405 here at like the 124th or whatever. Like there is a lot of people that commute north. Like that's, that's nuts. Holy smoke, look at that guy go. I told you man, I love Seattle for that reason. It's like you gotta be balls to the wall at all times or you're in danger. <laughs> It's kind of sad that I know my way around this city like really good when it comes to getting to three places and as long as I'm leaving from the general area that I know. <laughs> so let's uh, get over to my, my sanctuary here, my lane. Yes. Oh, express lane, I missed you. I had to spend like two minutes in regular people traffic. <laughs> That's unacceptable. <laughs> I really hope the burgers here are all right. Like, uh, you know, like they were like well reviewed and everything, but uh, I, I would like to find a good, uh, like I don't, I don't know how to describe it, like a good place to hang out, get a good burger, milkshake, and uh, you know, like have it be like just like a cool joint, you know? Like uh, Peter's Drive-In in Calgary used to be like that, and then they sold and changed owners, and now their burgers kind of aren't the same as what they used to be, but uh, like their milkshakes are still pretty good, but not amazing, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know, I just don't typically make it over there a whole ton. Uh, you know, obviously if this place turns out to be awesome, I mean, that doesn't benefit me in the slightest except for when I come to this city, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's kind of an irrelevant thing to say. Is, I hope this place is really good so that I can hang out there for the, like, two days I have left. <laughs> but then at, then at least I'd have something to look forward to when I come back. Yes. Here's those cool tunnels again. Man, I love these things. kind of want to like speed up the track put some cool music to it I already did that though and I put it too fast and then people were unhappy because it made their eyes hurt and uh, yeah I, I agree it, it was too fast <laughs> I'm sorry about that I'm not a big sports fan but I do like going to games like watching them on TV can be pretty boring but uh, when it comes to actually being at the game like it's you know it's way more exciting so 
one of these times if I find myself down here in one of these like major American cities I should actually go check out one of their games because I think it'll put the Calgary Flames or uh, Calgary Stampeders football to shame now if Washington had lane filtering or lane splitting oh man I would have just brought my toolbox with me on this trip <laughs> wouldn't have gone back <laughs> Uh, that'd be illegal, <laughs> but uh, I had heard somewhere that they were thinking about trying it, or they were thinking about letting you pass on the shoulder or something like that, but it didn't end up getting put through or whatever, so maybe they'll revisit that one, because, uh, you know, that'd be sweet. Oh, baby, we're almost there. I remember looking at that salties on the Alki or whatever, and I was like, nah, that looks too expensive. <laughs> they got enough money to pay somebody to put Christmas lights up then uh, it's probably not somewhere that I uh, generally want to eat I'm not saying I'm a like garbage eater or anything I mean I usually am but uh, I I just like when it gets to be like over $30 for a meal I'm kind of like oh man like somebody better be feeding me this I'm getting to wonder if I missed it was I busy looking over to the right and it was on the left? Because I don't recall it being this far up the other night. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I guess if I hit the end, I'll just simply turn around and come back. I know it's on this street. Oh, there it is. I must have just been not paying attention the other night and uh, didn't fully realize just how far down the road it truly was. <laughs> uh, where can I park? I'm going to have to, I'm going to go over there and park behind those cars. Perfect. Well, okay, then turns out they have parking in the back here. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm not going to leave my bike sitting here in the dark. That uh, doesn't sound like a good time to me. All right, right now we're here. I'm not going to walk in wearing my helmet. I know a lot of motovloggers do that. And people are like, oh, hey, hello, YouTube. I feel like I'd walk in with my helmet on and they'd pull a gun out and be like, are you trying to rob the place? <laughs> All right, well, I would say that was a success. So now for the review. I know that's the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> uh, the milkshake was actually really good. Um, you know, if you've ever had like Peter's Drive-In in Calgary, it was basically on par with that, so that's good. Uh, burger was, yeah, kind of whatever. Uh, wasn't amazing, wasn't awful. Uh, it didn't seem like it was um, like fresh homemade patties or whatever though so I don't know that's not really a huge deal breaker to me the fries were decent like at least they were cooked properly like I can't stand when fries are soggy or they're just like something you know like I don't know mush like the it's uncooked potato inside when you kind of get going in it so you know that's good good points there um, it was really expensive though like as far as a burger place goes and uh like especially for the states i mean a uh, milkshake a double cheeseburger and a small fries was 16 dollars right and then they expected a tip on top of that right so you know you're looking at 20 bucks a person basically by the time you're all said and done i mean no i didn't leave a four dollar tip but i'm just rounding up there so you know that's definitely something to keep in mind uh, you know, you're paying more than a sit-down restaurant, basically. Yeah. Look at that view. Woo! That's some good stuff. Elkai Beach is awesome. Like, it's just got such a good view. I really can't complain about that. I should have brought my good camera with, like, on this trip. Like, I had room in the truck, obviously, like, to bring that with, so... I don't know why I didn't, because you can't take a night photo with a cell phone worth a damn. I know they claim, they're like, oh my god, best in night photos and stuff like that. But I mean, like, nothing beats a DSLR with a tripod. Except a bunch of other stuff if you're super, you know, photo savvy. But, you know, for the 
average consumer a uh, you know DSLR with you know manual control and a tripod is going to be awesome. So you know what, guys and gals, I hate to say it, but it's that time for me to bid you adieu, whatever that means, goodbye or something like that. <laughs> I'm uh, just gonna make my way back to the hotel now. I mean, I've shown you the 520 bridge a dozen times. <laughs> it's kind of one of my go-tos, and uh, uh, there's not much to see off it at nighttime, anyways. So if you find yourself down there at Alki Beach. You know, you get the auto tech stamp of approval on a really expensive burger. I mean, it does its job. It's not amazing, but I mean, it works. You know, so they're getting the they're getting the thumbs up, and I'll definitely go back there. The you know the main advantage is they're on Alki Beach, and it's a burger place. So I mean, you really can't go wrong there. So <laughs> if you're new to this, make sure you go on and hit that subscribe button. If you've been sticking around for a while, thanks for taking the time and watching. Look at that view. Woo!